was firing outside of Strozier, came in, fired a couple shots in the lobby. Headquarters, shots fired. Headquarters, shots fired. Shots fired. What's your 20? Headquarters, shots fired. Suspect dirt. What you just saw is newly released video from the night of the FSU library shooting. Good afternoon. I'm Eden Schultz. And I'm Julie Montanero. Among the videos released this afternoon, surveillance video that shows Myron May walking into Strozier Library just minutes before shooting and wounding three people. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Groh is in the studio with more. Chris. Eden, Julie, 911 tapes, dash cam video, and surveillance cam video were all released today, never before seen, painting a clearer picture of what happened in the early morning hours of November 20th. But first, we do want to warn you some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. Surveillance video shows gunman Myron May walking into Strozer Library. He then walks out after he can't pass the building's turnstiles. Around 20 minutes later, you see May walk back in after shooting and wounding Ronnie Ahmed and grazing Elijah Velez outside. May then sets his sights on Nathan Scott, firing once behind this desk, wounding Scott. But then he either reloads his gun or jams. Nathan Scott and his co-worker then escape. When May walks away, Scott and his coworker try to get away, but watch as two different people walk by May before he finally heads outside. He came into the lobby of the library. My coworker and I okay. were under the desk, and he fired a shot and went back out the door. Now what you're looking at is dash cam video from FSU police showing when officers arrived on the scene. May would be confronted by officers from both FSU and TPD. Tallahassee police's final report says May made a motion as if he was going to swing around and that's when officers fired. He said something but he was talking like really quiet and I'm screaming at him, screaming at him, like drop the gun, drop the gun. And then I hear him say, like, I'm going to make you kill me, you just have to kill me. And so at that point I was like, all right. Now, in total, 35 shots were fired. An autopsy report says May was hit 24 times. Now, we'll have even more from these new released videos and audio from the Strozer Library shooting coming up later on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in studio, Chris Groh, WCTV Eyewitness News.